Yeah, smart war games here. Let's check out Nations at War. White Star. We already did a content video on Battle Pack 2. Now we will check out Battle Pack 1. Mm, give me a second. Exactly. Good. Yeah, there's scenarios here from the Battle Pack 1. I'll give you a showcase here. You can stop the video. It is a lock and load game. And then we will pick a scenario. However, I can't play that much. Um, need to return to real life matters. Because I got stuck a bit too long with another video beforehand. Or with another stream. <clears throat> so we have US. Germans, uh, the British also here. Yeah, and it is based on a board game. Uh, higher scale than tactical. And yeah, sometimes since I played it, hope I remember the rules, but it should be fine. I think those games do a good job guiding you. I found this serious thanks to you. Yeah, great to hear. Looks like one of the main purposes of this channel. And you're enjoying it? Oh, Tigers. Yeah, Tigers are always good. And some tank battle. I always, always for a tank battle. But I want to play something smaller. And yeah, probably I can't finish it. Yeah. Not in this... Uh, showcase style video but should give you an idea of this game anyways there's also further expansion packs scheduled release not sure about yeah, some of them are already at least scheduled on steam for quite some time but i think i saw yeah desert um, or african focused uh, battle And you usually can play this game yeah, from either perspective. I mean, there are some scenarios which might be easier or harder from a certain perspective playing against the AI. And you can also play them hot seat or multiplayer. Ah, that is... Yeah, okay, I didn't notice that. That is already Battle Pack 2 we are checking out here. Yeah, because I own that, I forgot to deactivate it. Yeah. 
that is Battle Pack 2, yeah, so if you want detail on that, check out my other stream. Good, uh, so the last scenario was erasing the bulge, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, what is it, 10, 12, something like that. Yeah, here's also the core scenarios, I'm not sure if I ever showcased them, um, but for the price, I don't know, what is the core module going for, a couple of dollars, I think that is a good deal, yeah. Definitely will occupy you, and if you like it, you then have those battle packs. I think that is a nice system. Yeah, the regular game seems to be coming with two core scenarios, but it's also the price is pretty low. Yeah, and good. Um, now let's pick one. Let's see, something smaller. Where's the turn amount? Eight turns, okay. Eight turns. Nine. But I think Tiger sound good. Ten turns, yeah. But nevertheless, I might not finish any one of them. Okay, let's play one period. And we will play... I don't know, what did we play last time? Uh, let's play against the Tigers. Let's see. Just need to make sure that I'm not playing by exit, but no. We check out Battle Pack 2, is that... Let me quickly check on my own channel. Not... Because we showcase so many games, and not that I mix up stuff. Give me a second. Nations at War. Okay, Battle Pack 1, exactly. Battle Pack 2 we checked out. And that is the main game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. So no winter action. And last time we played the allies, it seems. I'm not sure, but appears to be. Okay, so let's play those tigers. Then we will play the German. Is there any Thing indicating that I shouldn't do that, no. Exactly, yeah, color is changing, nice. The Tigers still have teeth, yeah, let's roll. Good, yeah, we have a... What is it? The, is it a platoon level? What is it? Good, yeah, there's a setup zone. Let's go check objectives. Reach west exit, yeah, okay, so we want to break through. This gives you victory points. Yeah, but also destroying allied fighting vehicles. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, here we might need to drive through a town, and yeah, that is not really that good for tigers, but we might do it anyways. Here in the south, it is a bit more open. I uh, want to engage the enemy on distance. It is basically what I mean, we could push here in the south and try to cross that bridge. I think bridges can be destroyed, so we need to watch out with that. Here you have more bridges because uh, the allies might contest us here. If they notice that we're pushing only here. So let's split a bit. Uh, HQ. Now, yeah, first we need to. Okay, platoon. Yeah, this platoon level. That is Tiger platoons. Good. Yeah, one guy will drive right. Uh, 
Ah, that is a setup zone, okay. That's a reinforcement zone then. Uh... Okay. So we need to stay here. West exit, yeah. That's east. Okay, whatever. Good, the setup zone is rather... What? Smaller, yeah, that is, you don't see it because of the snowy environment, but that is basically a town here. So I was thinking that is a setup zone. Yeah, I might place my platoons here in a classic line fashion. Uh, the verbal, yeah, we need to watch out for enemy air attacks, perhaps the verbal will stay somewhat in the rear. Not and we might also keep them around here. For close protection of those tiger, tigers, this tiger company. Oh, uh, Schwerle Panzerabteilung. And HQ is stick together in the rear. Okay. Battle of Palabon begins. Both the board game, I am currently on the first scenario, bloody victory. Uh, what what was this? Steven Fields? Was it um, spam? Uh, thanks. Thanks, uh, Beyond, for handling that. Or was that some angry, angry bird? As usually, this Steve Fields. Doesn't sound like one of those chat uh, spam bots. Um, what is going on here? <coughs> Opportunity fire. I said new, can't remember that. Okay, we have some a couple of opportunity fires which we might use. On the other end, yeah, that is basically indicating the paths. And there's an opportunity fire solution here. Did it change something? I can't remember that. Yeah, perhaps wait, yeah, let's see what goes on if we skip that. Okay. Uh, let perhaps let them come a bit closer, but okay, opportunity for here by those two tanks. Ah, red means okay, red is opportunity fire. Yeah, we could start firing. I think that is not really that good, but when they come around the corner, we indeed might open fire with two platoons on that um, Sherman platoon and the second. So only one opportunity for a lot. I guess we need to confirm. Good AP opportunity fire by one tiger platoon, and they managed to cause damage. Uh, this Sean platoon is disrupted. On the left we have a push. Ah, you can... Yeah, there's this fate point system. I don't know if that is a board game thing. Um, you have fate points which allow you to... That is really um, important, basically some sort of important currency which you can use for special situations. Normally this tank would be not allowed to fire again because he's ops complete. But you could spend two op, uh, op, uh, fate points in order to make him fire again, opportunity fire. Uh, currently it's not really needed. Uh, but we might rather save that for close calls. Let's see, it's a better solution. I mean, they will move into those towns, which might reduce effectiveness of opportunity fire. 
but we will do it anyways. Yeah, we fire on, especially here, the Easy 8. Yeah, those tanks can pen us frontally with a 76 gun. So indeed, get for the, go for those Easy 8s. No, it doesn't look that good for us. Yeah, miss. Mm, that because they are in a village. Good. Uh, yeah, further opportunity fire, but only by those two platoons, which already are ops complete. Uh, we would have to spend fate points in order to do that, which we won't do right now. Uh, we might do that if they come closer. Uh, the Splatoon Gate, Opportunity Fire, uh, M10, Tank Destroyer is also dangerous for Tigers, yeah, using the 76mm gun, has the chance to penetrate tanks, Tigers frontally, especially below 500, and those board games usually try to depict the reality. Uh, he will move into the village, unfortunately no Opportunity Fire in the open. You can also do a LOS check, that was, I think, this button here, right? No. So I have the feeling that they changed us some stuff here in this game. But it's already a long time since I played it, yeah? but it feels somewhat fresh. And there's also a LOS check, but, but whatever. Yeah, we'll fire on that thing, on those um, M10s, I guess, which will move into the village here. I can also use Fate in order to improve a result. And you see there was an option for that, but it looks good. Yeah, we disrupted them. They are not reduced, but disrupted. Should keep them at bay for some time. Good. Yeah, we activated our Schwerter Panzerabteilung HQ, which means those units are also activated. And can. Yeah, that is basically activation. Perform operations. Oh, yeah, I think they changed some of that. There's a real time LOS check. That is new, I can remember that. Mm, we could enter Overwatch, but I think we will actively engage. Um, the Easy Aids. That looks good. Three hits, one defense. And yeah. N disrupt and reduce, yeah, those easy aids. Good, uh, next. Uh, those Sofan Tigers might move. On the other hand, they should soon gain. Also, activity. Yeah, for the verbal, I currently don't have any operations. Was this game updated recently? It feels absolutely fresh. Normally I have a good memory, even for games that I played long ago. Didn't play that much national Nations at War, but it feels very different, like a new game for me. Good. Next, uh, those M10s, they are reduced, but they're still the biggest threat. Uh, they're not reduced, they are disrupted. Uh, in the south, you have those regular M4s, but they are currently, I don't consider them a threat. They are regular 75mm Shermans. I consider the M10s to be dangerous. We we'll target them and try to reduce them. Uh, one hit. No defense, that should work out. Good, yeah, we man they're already disrupted, so they can't get disrupted again, but they got reduced, this should help. 
Good, last Tiger, um, is that guy even, I mean, we can ask maneuver with him into the south, we might need to consider that, that we might maneuver into Vauville, yeah, south of Saint-Pierre, La Riviere, um, in order to stop those Shermans flanking us, yeah, that might be an idea. I mean, we have targets, but I need probably to prepare... Uh, one movement point, we have how much MPs? Uh, it's also print on the chat. Right now, hard to tell, is it free? I would like to move into this wood line. Yeah, this wood line here might give us really nice... Yeah, uh, on the other hand, this tiger has a nice... Uh, but they might quickly bypass that. Yeah, you see, that is a LOS currently. We can ambush. I might go M I might go Overwatch yeah, in order to ambush units that might cross here, but they might bypass us. On the other hand, then we can move into th yeah, this location. Not that good. Yeah. It might be a consideration to move. Click and hold. Fade move. Move one MP. Two, three, four, five. I mean, if we have five MP, I could pull it off. Ah, we have three MP, okay. So we could one, two, three. Yeah, that is really a bad location. One, two, three. Yeah, that is. I want to fight. Yeah, I might go into Overwatch in order to ambush units at the on the bridge. Good, and that is basically activation, you know, finished. Uh, the verbal, I mean, we might get it perhaps dispersed. The verbal, I mean, still can penetrate pop probably stewards, but might also get penetrated by anything that fires on it. Uh, that is uh, not ver very well armored. But nevertheless, we might get it, because this also allows us to fire into this area. And a verbal, verbal wind, yeah, that is what I said, 20 mic mic, definitely can endanger stewards. Yeah, that is really limited, so I move that. Actually, did I move the entire unit or what? Wait. No, no, HQ stay, stay here. HQ must not be left behind. Oh, okay, interesting. Ah, the HQ needs to be always... Po yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to expose the HQ. On the other hand, Jimmy, all in. Yeah. <laughs> all in. Let's do that, yeah. Might be dangerous, but we'll see. Good. You can even pay fate points in order to recall your end turn. Is that also in the board game? If you say end, and then... No, wait, I changed my mind. Yeah, Jimmy, you need to pay fate points. It could be, I don't know. Yeah, in chess, in chess, yeah, or in other classic board games, if you say you end turn, you end turn, yeah, it's over. I mean, under friends, you of course might say, hey, wait, wait, wait. My queen is exposed. But... Interesting. Uh, this fade point thing is, I like it. Um, sounds for some war gamers, it might sound like there is some sort of magic, but it might assimilate. Yeah, command focus or applying special resources to a to a certain endeavor. Okay.
Yeah, we have currently no other informations. They're activating the CCA. What is if I say as the Germans no? I guess. Perhaps um, if you have several formations, yeah, with several HQs, you can, as the German, stop an enemy from activating a certain formation. Good, we have again opportunity fire with uh, two platoons. Um, but I'm not, not sure if I want to apply it. It is basically regular M4s. We might rather skip that, because you can only do one opportunity fire, usually per unit. And we might, because they're going south, that is not really endangering me currently. So we'll skip that. Good, there's further M force pushing forward. This we might challenge. And they also come to... Oh no, they're all... Okay, that's not the HQ. And those two... Yeah. Threatening platoons are disrupted or re and reduced. So that is a fresh M4 platoon coming up, which we might challenge with uh, this platoon. Yeah, there are us in the open, that should work out nicely. Two hits, no defense, that should reduce and disrupt. Good, we have another opportunity fire by... Uh, here they have stewards, those guys are disrupted, so I think they will not be pose a harm. Uh, let's see what is passing here at the bridge. There's even an opportunity fire happening. What opportunity fire you have here? Who is moving here? Another Sherman platoon. Yeah. Pushing to the bridge. Yeah, challenge that. One hit. One defense that should, I think, disrupt. No, that doesn't do anything. Good, southern unit has opportunity fire on the stewards. Yeah, the stewards are not really of my concern right now, I might skip. Actually, that was not only the stewards, but okay. We still have opportunity fire now on the steward, okay, um, so I think that is the last chance to use opportunity fire. So we might do that. On the other hand, this Okay, yeah, let's do that. That should be a nice flank shot. Yeah. Should reduce and disrupt. Ah, one, one hit is disrupt, okay. Two hits is disrupt, reduce. Mm, now it's too late, I should have waited and rather uh, that I wasted my ambush. I think that's very important, I might spend two fate points for that. In order to challenge this M4. But we will wait until he's in the open. Now yeah, that's Stewart's okay. We need to check which shit is lighting up. But okay, it's also not too bad. Those stewards can cause some harm. Yeah. A steward, in theory, I don't know, not a tiger, because the tiger has a high, thick armor, all aspect. Uh, but panthers, yeah, they could penetrate panthers. That is probably also what is quite a legit story. Yeah, there's this story going around that a steward penetrated a king tiger from the rear. I mean, everything can happen, yeah. You can't apply video game logic to reality. Just because something has big armor doesn't mean it is invulnerable. Yeah. There's, for example, also M18 uh, Abrams tanks that were lost in the 2003 Iraq invasion by 50 cal fire. Because some round 
by luck or by bad luck, whatever you want to call it, hit some yeah, some some part of the tank and ruptured some fuel line and ignited the tank. Uh, 50 car round, um, Abrams. While, of course, it is normally bulletproof against 50 cars. But um, there was a lot of mixing up by allied units <laughs> when it came to enemy tanks. Yeah, a lot of pants of, there was this Tiger scare going on on the east, uh, on the western front, despite Germany never having that much of those heavy tanks. And uh, a lot of those Panzer force were reported for being Tigers, and also a lot of Panthers were being reported of being King Tigers, yeah, because of the similar uh, shape. You know, the King Tigers and the Tiger uh, Panthers share this sloped armor appearance. And a Panther could be indeed be penetrated from the rear. If the, um, it was not a Stuart, it was not a Stuart, it was a scout car. Which I think uses a similar cannon, which drove up from the rear and probably body backed one of those tanks, which could be indeed be true for a panther, as those panthers rather follow this modern philosophy of being armed heavily frontally, but mediocre being armed, uh, armored flank, and especially rear. But who knows? I could be also a king tiger, nobody will ever tell. There are so many factors that can put out a tank out, perhaps as a crew freaking out, yeah. But it would make sense that if it was a Panther. So getting, letting those stewards, allowing those stewards to get into our rear on our flank is for those Tigers not really a problem because they are designed before World War II happened as breakthrough tanks coming with a nice armor all aspect. But still, yeah, they won't be fired upon for no good reason. Good, yeah, we are activating our Schwerle Panzerabteilung. Four platoons available. Let's start with the southern one. And attack. Uh, we don't have um, sight on those stewards. Uh, on those Shermans. So I might enter Overwatch and wait for this Shermans to move with the southern one. And here we will continue attacking the Easy Aids and the Wolverines. Two hits. Zero defense that should do the trick. One hit. Zero defense should at least disrupt those M10s. Yeah, disrupt them to death. Yeah. Good. Um, everything anti tank is basically removed from the map. Uh, but they might bring in reinforcements, also air probably. This verbal wind. Can't fire on anything. I mean, it is in range, but I guess the weaponry is simply yeah, out of range. Uh, those 20 mic mics can't fly that far, uh, can't reach that far, or are simply ineffective. So we might enter Overwatch. In very recent news, they are announcing renewed efforts to introduce new content and updated processes. Okay, that is nice. So probably this already happened, or will happen, but yeah, why not? I mean, it is quite a nice system, very fast-paced, I like that. And not those situations, that is exactly what is missing. Yeah? It is on an operational, yeah, tactical operational level low operation level. Or higher tactical level, whatever you want to call it. Platoon level. And yeah, a lot of those games come with millions of counters, while here you have 
Rather those situations which I really love. Ah uh, yeah, okay. Opportunity fire of those Tigers by um I am for platoon, yeah we might do that. Because here is only Stewards left. We let him allow approach as close as possible. And then fire. No hits, yeah, that will be a miss. You can use a fade point. Let's do that in all most probably too late. Yeah, almost too late. Uh, but normally you can use a fade for reroll. But so can the enemy. Next, another Sherman platoon moving out. Can be intercepted here on the road. Let's do that. Yeah, this will probably reduce this unit. Or even destroy it. Good, yeah, this, they are moving. We will intercept them. That was our plan. Two hits, it should be fine. One defense, so at least get, they get disrupted. And yeah, they're moving with the HQ. HQ is reduced. Yeah, that's good news. Good, it's our turn again. Uh, good, uh, those guys have, let's see, they can fire, yeah, those stewards will handle them. But let's handle that HQ, we might finish that. I yeah, missed, because they have good foliage there. Uh, too late. That verbal wind, let's see if he can penetrate that steward. Tiger is out of range, okay, yeah, okay, then not. Then we might use a tiger. Yeah, that should destroy, or at least, yeah, disrupt them. Yeah, this guy can't even hit the sh uh, stewards in the south here. Yeah, this should give him... Re uh, they are already disrupted, right? This probably will finish them. Yeah, um, I will move the HQ into safety. Because this verbal wind is not really that capable. Uh, in, in order to prevent that the steward might body back the HQ or the wibble wind. Good, a Jagd Panther arrived. A Jagd Panther, Jimmy, that is really a real hardcore thing. We got some reports that that thing never was penetrated frontally. Most of them were abandoned, destroyed from flanks, uh, infantry attacks or whatever, but I heard that uh, there was not a single report that a Jagd Panther was Officially penetrate from the front. Uh, that is basically on a Panther chassis, yeah, a tank destroyer. Some of this late war shenanigans. Yeah, the Germans really loved mixing, matching tanks as crazy, which they also realized was a bit too st straying on their war industry. Yeah, later, they wanted to simplify tank production, yeah, like the Allied Allied did. They didn't operate that many tank models. But they mixed and matched everything. It was Jag Tigers, Jag Panthers, uh, everything was mixed and matched. Also out of necessity, yeah, in order to combine stuff they somewhere salvaged. There's only one, the heaviest tank ever built is a Jag Tiger, yeah, that is, but I think, uh, in series, yeah, that was the heaviest tank ever built in series. Why of, uh, there was of course one of, or two of those mouse tanks, but they were never built in series. One was destroyed, I think, somewhere south of Berlin. Oh, again, abandoned. Yeah, a lot of those heavy tanks were rather abandoned because of lack of resources or crews simply thinking, what the heck are we doing here? Mm, yeah, might start here the road. Can we activate him? Not yet. And yeah, we need to use a command check because we are out of command range. And he's out of command, yeah. So next turn, perhaps. 
Well, we might need to move the HQ in the rear. Huh? Which I might do. On the other hand, I might wait. That is the command range. If I'm No, this should work. In order to get that Jagdpan the next turn. Good. One hit. One defense. Should probably do nothing. Two hits. This will be good, yeah. Destroyed, probably together with the HQ. And this steward should be also finished. Yeah, I mean, it appears here yeah, that we are body bagging here those allies. But that is also because of the scenario. Yeah? That is also probably why default you are supposed to play at AI as a, um, a German by pushing with the allies, which will be a way more difficult experience. Yeah? But uh, that is also one of my, the major aims of my channel is not to satisfy the wargaming establishment, but also to open those games for newcomers. Uh, in a P2P scenario, that would be, of course, different. But it's basically for all war games. So be it combat mission or whatever, uh, I want to uh, get new players. And defense scenarios are pretty good for showcasing. Good for learning games, because um, no matter what war game you pick, yeah, this AI will always struggle in a in an attacking scenario. At least on somewhat even terms, those scenarios are usually... Uh, there is, of course, some ex exceptions, um, depending on how much force the attacker pushes. But yeah, if you worrying about that, then play simply from the allies and it will be a way more challenging experience, I guess. Sitting here with some heavy tigers and body bagging them is, of course, fun. Huh? But probably playing the other 
fraction, at least from the OOB, yeah, from the orbit they're running here, and the TOE yeah, with those Shermans, that is considered quite, quite rather challenging. Yeah, and they currently have easy aids. They pulled in some reinforcements, another HQ arriving with M18 tank destroyer, so they also have the 76er. Uh, minus 500, they might body back those Saigas. But those Saigas are sitting here in a village with, uh, with further yeah, cover. It's not easy yeah, for the allies, I must say, as a German player. Because uh, those regular Shermans, they will pen not penetrate those Saigas, uh, all aspect from long range, they need to get close. And yeah, the special thing about the Tiger is that it is basically uh, almost armored the same all aspect yeah, as it was initially designed as a breakthrough tank. Which makes it not that effective in tank combat, but for those defense situ situations where you might get attacked from all aspect, those Tigers might prove to be a big challenge. Especially for regular 75ers. That's why so also why the allies then agreed to ramp up their 76er Shermans or the Fireflies on the British side. The 75er Sherman being simply the better check of all trades. But against those rather seldom encountered heavy tanks of the Germans, yeah, they sometimes struggled of course. Okay, good. We activating here. Let's see, can I activate my Jagdpanther? Yeah. Good, uh, we have four movement points. I might get, try to get into the woods uh, south of Saint-Pierre, La Riviere. Yeah, it's also a covered move. So no react fire by the enemy. Mm, currently no open targets, so we might go overwatch. Oh, here we have a target. One hit on a shown platoon, one defense, should miss. Uh, those guys struggle, yeah, they lost their HQ, I think. But regained, uh, they're now going for fire missions. And we have opportunity fire with the Southern Overwatch Tiger Platoon. On the other hand, yeah, there are some games that pull off really good attacks. With some nice handmade plans. There are some Comet Mission campaign designers, for example, they... Both sides might repair a vehicle, yeah, that's not a thing for us. We are in shape. Good. Rally, but also a cause. <coughs> Nevertheless, we will now move into that position. This will leave us two maneuver points or movement points. Ah, no, because we moved through the woods, we are out. Okay. And we might get opportunity fired, but those Jagd Panthers should hold it up. Uh, seems like the allies didn't go for it, because it is 
with little chance that they might penetrate that Jagd Panther with a 75er. Yeah, we have a target. Riding together with the HQ. That might be brutal for them. But it's the M26. What? M26? Pershings? Okay, interesting. Uh, those Pershings got hit hard. Yeah, there's Pershings on the map. Nice. Not that, not, not that often that you see them. I say there was not that many in use on the Western Front. The so wall was about go coming down. For um, yeah, defeating the Nazis. But there's this yeah famous Pershing versus Panther engagement with some of those pictures taken. Or uh, even live footage, when I sell them for World War Two. Yeah, nowadays everything is filmed and put on Twitter. But back in the days, it was rather unusual. Imagine they would have those capabilities in World War Two. Yeah, I guess the entire war would be different. Yeah, it's a modern society. Yeah, social media, internet, globalization is changing the entire face of warfare. Not sure if you could pull off something like the Arden offense, uh, the the push uh, of the Germans in, uh, against Fran France or also Barbarossa. Probably nowadays impossible. They would already know. What, I mean, even back in the days, they already know what was going on. There were simply some people that were not convinced that this might happen in this way. Good, I might um, get the HQ forward again. Uh, uh, currently there's nothing close range. I mean, they might be fired upon, but... Oh, we triggered opportunity fire. And, yeah, this verbal will get hit. HQ check. Luckily nothing happened, but we need to watch out here with the HQ movement. Good, Jagd Panda got opportunity fire. Let's engage them here. That is a nice flank shot. That should absolutely nuke them. Yeah. At least reduce, disrupt them. HQ damage is positive. Destroyed. Yeah, this is absolutely catastrophic. Another Pershing platoon, uh, yeah, that's the same Pershing platoon. We gained opportunity fire on them, because they're moving here around in the rear. Yeah, this should give us a nice flank shot. Yeah, this will probably destroy them. Or oh, disrupt and reduce them. Another opportunity fire. But I think those guys already fired. No, they're not ops complete. M18, tank destroyer pushing here at the wreck. I think a wreck will even give us one hit. Zero defense, disrupt. No HQ damage.
I'm all out to pick the... Ah, so the enemy player is allowed to misdirect fire. Yeah, let them hit some buildings, then we can use this as propaganda. Ah, those guys body bagging here buildings of civilians. No. Uh, let's misdirect into it into the open. Very A, check. A missed. Yeah, interesting. Uh, you can, if I, it seems like if a if a airstrike is going inaccurate, you as the enemy player can pick what spot they will hit. Probably coming from the board game. Yeah, M18s prioritize them. They should do the trick. How they manage to defend. But it reuse him. And it causes HQ damage. HQ is destroyed, yeah, that is absolutely devastating for them. And this should finish those Pershings. Uh, it's not a Pershing, it is a tank destroyer. Yeah, those Shermans should be also rubble. Viele Grüße aus Kroatien, nach wie vor super Content, sehr geil. Ja, Desmo, danke für die, für das Kompliment, ja, du bist auch hier willkommen. Gut, dich hier zu haben. I got wrecked, ja. Ja, aber das ist usually, AI is in an offensive role. If you play this from the allies, difficulty might spike up, ja. That's also why it is probably on default. That's what I mentioned in the introduction, some scenarios, even if they don't men mention it. If you play against the AI, you, depending, yeah, but for noobs or for newcomers, yeah, that is, that's why at least I li like to showcase it, yeah, as I mentioned, yeah. My aim is to get more people into, into this genre, less to satisfy the existing because and yeah if you have no clue of armored warfare i mean we talk here about ah uh, that thing is equipped with a 76 millimeter that thing is equipped with a 75 ah uh, that is a threat yeah but we need to keep in mind not everybody is some sort of world war ii wannabe um, keyboard champion and those games might look easy then for the enthusiasts. Okay, that air attack hit. But we let's see if they can rally from the disrupt. Yeah, that looked good. And this should be real as a nice. Yeah. So as a beginner, I yeah, play those defense scenarios against AI, learn about the ropes. I mean, you have also the values here on the chits. Uh, I usually don't use them, I rather use the reality rules, which is always working for those games. As those board games try to depict reality. You can also, of course, compare here the values on the chits. Yeah, Tiger has these values, uh, plus one defense by concealment, etc. But if you apply historical incidents, yeah, a Tiger won't be penetrated or hardly penetrated by a Sherman 75 millimeter uh, at least uh, from 500 plus meters uh, but those 76ers especially with the APCR rounds might do that if they're equipped with that uh, you can play those spot games yeah? i often not even look at those values because i don't like this data uh, fetishism in video games where you are oh, wait i have plus two wait now i have plus three because that is it's fine if you do that yeah but for me, if you would be a recommender, I would judge by other means. 
wouldn't judge by your value, so I rate my tank as 80 millimeters, that enemy tank has 15, uh, I might deploy here, yeah, there's nobody, no recommend I ever did. But they're, they're basically on a sending of the capabilities of the enemy and their tanks, usually. Usually, yeah, not everyone. So if you play that from the allies, then you have your challenge, and then... Because I think that it's really difficult for the allies here to... I mean, with the Pershings arriving, you might in the beginning want to stay somewhat conservative. Yeah, the AI is pushing here hard with the 75ers. I don't know. Getting past those Tigers is almost impossible in the beginning. You might really need to engage with those Pershings. But those Pershings also have some super weapons. Yeah. They really have a nice interface, I really like this clean, the crispiness of the interface. And I really like this limited situation, so we might play more of Nations at War. Because I sometimes really get fatigued, get... It's not gaming anymore for me, it is working. And if you come from work, you need to work again in your game. With some of those modern war games going bigger and bigger with millions of counters. So what I really love about this Lock and Load series, yeah, limited situations, sometimes I miss those in combat mission, like in the, in the golden Normandy days, or Shock Force days. Some nice company versus company action. Yeah, uh, let's drive the HQ out. This guy's almost got body backed. I might drive you in the south on the bridge. It's really strange. Well, then we could also yeah, let's get here. Justin Larkins, was it also a spam bot? But yeah, thanks Beyond for your help, that is nice. But it seems like those spam bots lose the war. It is getting less and less. Yeah, there was three, uh, one or two months ago, uh, those spam bots. But I mean, I, I already told you yeah, a couple of months ago, Jimmy, nobody will earn money, at least on my channel. My channel has so little audience. Posting spam bots there, yeah, that is that is a joke. Yeah, that is so desperate. Uh, on a on a channel with a I don't know, a couple of guys watching live streams and rather low views, you post your I don't know what sisters online, yeah. sisters online Jimmy. What those guys uh, must be really desperate. Pershing's pushing might get disrupted by this Jagdpanzer fire. Uh, those Jagdpanzers operating 8 8. Long. No, I think, is it the same? Of the Tigers. Yeah, it's the same, I think, of the Tigers. What? Lieutenant H.T. Smith. Do we use faith? What? I can correct. Oh no, reset. I changed my mind. Ah, oh, Jimmy, too late. <laughs> what? No, no. Uh, okay, now I need to use that fate point. Ah, one fate point allows you not to re roll, but to raise. Yeah, okay, then do that. Yeah, that okay, yeah. <laughs> that was exactly the fate point we needed. Um, yeah, that was uh, the allies got, of course, a hard hit here, but must say also that it is really a hard situation for the AI to push on a tiger company sitting in prepared positions. 
that requires really some effort, even if I consider myself as a human player, yeah, I might struggle with that situation. That requires really some combined effort of, I don't know, dropping smoke, air suppression, long range fire by Pershing, the tank destroyers. Really difficult, yeah. Good. Yeah, and you can also play that multiplayer. They have also a multiplayer engine running here, which you need to log in. You might find players and they might then body back the heck out of you. And there's also a tutorial if you need to get the basics. Yeah, really nice game. You might play it more in the future. I hope they will release those further um, add ons. Not really that much into Africa, but Eastern Front would be nice. And really like the system because you can play really a single session. You see, I was in the beginning announcing I might not finish it. Let me finish it. Why, from the Allied perspective, it would of course take very more consideration and time. So check it out, it's on Steam. I've read a lot of those internet scams are Eastern European. Yeah, it could be, I don't know. Um, but I rather doubt that this is really helpful for them to post spam like this on some of those uh, like on a channel like mine yeah, that is what the heck are they supposed to achieve with that but a wasted time for them uh, seems like they might be really desperate perhaps we need to allow them yeah, in order that those guys might survive no I wonder if Sisters Online are at war right now what do you mean? <laughs> Sisters Online at war? Good, yeah, that was Nations at War, Steam, 